I'd like to share with you on forgiveness. Yes, forgiveness. Why you need to forgive. You see, emotions follow behavior and not the other way around. You have to act your way to the feeling. You won't feel like forgiving for what was done to you. Real or imagine. But forgive. Forgive. Forgiveness is a decision. A choice one makes. Don't wait for the feeling or the moment to be right before you forgive. If you believe in faith, it helps you answer the why you should forgive question. God knew it would happen to you before it did. So all you've been through and would go through, he already knew because he said so. And if you still doubt me, read Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5. Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. And before you were born, I consecrated you. I appointed you a prophet to the nations. Forgive and forget. That's a tough one. I agree. You really can't forget. You're supposed to learn from the incidents and to make you better, not bitter. But forgiveness is not optional. It's not an option. If you don't forgive, you can't be forgiven. So stop relieving the pain by relieving the incident or the incidents. That's, that's a devil ploy to keep you down. Here's a process to help you on this journey to forgiveness. That's what I adopt. Write down five things God has forgiven you of. Then thank him for forgiving you. I do not claim to understand how you feel or your pain or how deep it is. And I'm not asking you to condone the issue that caused you so much grief and pain. But do not take God's place. Like Joseph said to his brothers, you may have meant it for bad, but God meant it for good. That person, that individual, those people that cost you this pain, this situation, they may have meant it for bad, but God actually turns it around for good. That's my worldview. Refuse to be stuck in your pain, I beg you. When you're done with this process, verbalize it and say, I have forgiven. Insert the person's name and repeat it three times. For example, I have forgiven Olusoji or Yahweh. I have forgiven Olusoji or Yahweh. I have forgiven Olusoji or Yahweh. And I hope you do that if I'm one that has hurt you. You don't have to remain connected to the person who consistently causes you pain, however. But you have to let the pain go by forgiving them. Again, don't wait for the feeling or the moment to be right before you forgive. Forgive, then the right feelings will catch up with you down the line and you'll be the better for it. And forgiveness again is a decision, it's a choice one makes. Please forgive. Yes, let it go. Forgive.